Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Eldari Guardians Miniatures. I've not long posted this new video for the new anniversary miniatures that were released, and then this article came up on the Warhammer community site showing us some brand new Eldari Guardian miniatures. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to this, so I thought I'd do a video where we have a look at the miniatures in detail, and also do a comparison side by side looking at the set that exists now, and then comparing them to these brand new ones. So here we go, all these images are taken from the Warhammer Community Site article. You can also watch a quick video there, but I've got all the information from that video in picture form so we can have a really good look at it. So this is part of the new kit of 11 miniatures, and this is going to give you an option to either make a squad of Guardian Defenders or a squad of Storm Guardians. And if you make the Guardian Defenders, you're also going to be able to include a heavy weapon platform there. But the squad of Storm Guardians are going to see a new addition, which is the Serpent Scale Platform. And it tells us in the article that that's going to help to deflect incoming fire. It's been a long time since some miniatures were released for these, so this is really great news. And I think they've done a good job updating them. When you see the comparison later on, you can really see a difference between them. First glance, though, I was looking at the armour, I didn't really see it changing all that much. There's certainly a lot more definition there and it's very crisp. The weapon looks great here though. This is really nice. A lot more detail going on. Some things on the belt there and I kind of wish I hadn't seen this a little bit. I can't get it out of my head now. It needs to tuck it in I think. So we'll move on from that though and let's have a look at the miniatures now up close. So you can see the faces are much better and with this black background, it really makes that red pop out. And with all those highlights using all the different orange colours, I think that's great. And the weapon, the highlight colour, almost like a teal on there, looks fantastic as well. It says in the article as well that this is going to improve on those veteran miniatures, but it's going to give more dynamic poses and you're going to get more choices of weapons, heads and bodies as well. And at the bottom of the article, it says that the heads are going to be uh, like with helmets and without. So you're going to get lots of choice there and lots of ways to put these together. But I think looking at all the different images, they haven't changed all that much. They're certainly a lot crisper and really in keeping with the whole aesthetic of the army. But yeah, a lot more detail, a lot crisper, uh, but you can still recognise it. And I think it wouldn't be too far pushed to have these alongside the older ones and it wouldn't look that much different. So it doesn't give us a date, but it says that they're going to be available soon. So we just have to wait for the date to be confirmed. But the article says there's going to be a lot coming for the Eldari in 2022. It even says it's going to be a big year for the Eldari. So this is awesome. We've already seen the Eldritch Omens box set. and I did a video on that on the channel. But now there's going to be a weekly series of articles called Path of the Preview. And then you're going to be able to see more new Eldari as they're released throughout the year. So if you're a fan of this army, this is amazing news. So there we go. Brilliant news. 11 new miniatures. Great new box set. But I thought it'd be fun to compare them to the older ones. So let's take a look now. And so on the left, we've got the old ones. On the right, the new ones. And from a distance, there's not that much of a difference. And compare these two miniatures in the middle. I think it's certainly, as I keep saying, a lot crisper and neater. But on the whole, not that different. But the real difference here are they going to be the faces? And you can see the old one on the left. It just keeps making me laugh looking at that face. It's ridiculous. Compared to the one on the right, they're worlds apart. So that's a huge difference for me there. I think that's obviously a lot better on the right. And I guess if you were playing using the fighters without the helmets, looking at that all the time isn't cool. So I think having these new updated heads is a big move and uh, really good news. And here, this one looks a lot better. A lot more action going on, the poses, the running, so these are a lot better. That guy on the right-hand side with the white helmet doesn't seem to know what's going on, but these two on the left are certainly running towards the fight and are getting stuck in. So yeah, big improvement there. That looks really great. I think the weapons are a little bit crisper as well, so overall, a nice improvement. And then we've got some more here with the white helmet. So I mean, I guess there's not much you can do to change this. If you change that completely it's not going to look like the faction it's meant to be so yeah I think this is a fair update but really those heads are going to make the difference uh, but if you do play them with the helmets on then maybe it's not that much of a difference as you might have hoped and then finally we've got what must be the heavy weapons platform and some heavy weapons as well 
with the fighters themselves. So, yeah, I mean, that one, again, very similar, very similar, crisper, a bit neater around the edges, maybe. Um, but overall, pretty much looks like the same model. I think if you had these next to each other, I don't think many people would, would tell the difference between those. But really, I think, as we've seen this picture already, it's the faces that make all the difference and just tidying up those lines and making the armour a bit more defined. But let me know what you think about this. I mean, if you've been playing these, is this something you've been looking forward to a while? It must be. And to get these new miniatures, I'd love to hear what you think. So let me know in the comments section below. And also, what are your predictions for the year ahead? We already saw some images in the sneak peek video, and I was way off. I didn't get any of them for the Eldar. Um, but I'd love to know what you think's coming. So let me know in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>